Hello and welcome. So this is basically a high level overview of the upcoming deadline for migrating your Bethesda.net launcher to your Steam account. Um, they did post this quite recently back in, it looks like they've updated on April 27th. And basically it's, we're saying goodbye to Bethesda launcher this year. If you're not playing PC games through the launcher, then your work is done here. Plenty of time to plan and begin migrating uh, to your library, to your Steam account. The migration will include your game library and wallet, meaning you will not lose anything from your Bethesda account. Many games will also have their saves migrated, with a few requiring some manual transfers. So it kind of depends, obviously, on the game. Now, I am going to add some links into the description of this video as well to get you to these various pages. Um, so it says, how will I play games? I encourage you, to, encourage you, our launcher community to continue their experience on St Steam. What will happen to the launcher? Uh, you can access your games until May 11th. Will I still need a Bethesda account if I no longer use the launcher tra after transfer to Steam? Yes you will because still games and services will still rely on that account right so purpose of this video is to save you the time and effort of having to read all this so basically um the next link is this one uh steam migration walkthrough step by step options so first part is to actually log into your account um, and then some retrieval options in case you don't remember your username, your password, etc. Um, what I would also suggest is if you log into a broad browser using uh, for for um, your Bethesda account, and then open up another one and log into your Steam account. Then when you're ready, then start going through the link and verify you are connected to the correct Steam account. Um, Again, this isn't the button to click now. This is just a kind of a bit of a high level overview. Um, and then once all is done on that step, you then go to what's called migration page and you do a start steam transfer. So that one, um, on this one here, there's two links. So one is the walkthrough that we just looked at, and the migration tool is this one the transfer library, account transfer library. So when I actually did this yesterday, one thing I noticed was start your Steam transfer was actually still grayed out, even though I'd linked them. So I figured let's just give it a give it a while to settle and come back and check on it. So today I have, and then that's what gave me the idea to create the video. So you can see I've linked my account, Steam account here, and now I can click start Steam transfer, which I'm going to do now. Are you sure you want to transfer? And then process cannot be cancelled when initiated or undone when completed. After the transfer from your account to your Steam account is complete, you will no longer be able to access your games on the PC Bethesda PC launcher. Yes, transfer to this account. So at this point, we're just going to wait. Now, I only had a couple of things on there. Doom, Wolfenstein, Fallout. Uh, I think I had Fallout 76 on there. Oh yeah, Rage was there as well. Transfer your Doom Eternal save, game save. Please click here. Yeah, there it is, Fallout 76. So. And then it has wallets with atoms or whatever I like collected. Now it looks like there's another option here. Open this in the new tab. This is to do with the, new, the last Doom. Team authorization required to sync your saved game. Okay, so let's. Now I don't have Doom currently installed, so step three is not really going to work for me. We're leaving Bethesda.net. Yes, so send to Steam website to allow access to upload save files. So in your case, if you do have it installed, this is what you would do. 
because I don't have it installed. I don't even have the launcher installed at the moment. I'm not going to bother with this. I recently did a Windows 11 reset. But anyways, um, that's basically how you do it. So if we go over to our Steam and then library, can we get to our library from here? No, but we can probably do it this way. I just switch back to store and then switch to library. And then if I do a search for, uh, what was that, Fallout 76, there it is. And now I can install it. And that's, that's pretty much it. Nice and simple. Um, as I said, I will add links to the description and some... Uh, Find code breadcrumbs into it as well as you can jump to the various parts of the video. Alright, thanks for watching and bye for now.